Hello? I'm here. I'm a little bit late, not much. Not for me. I could be later. I have been. Um, I'm gonna find me on my computer. Welcome, welcome. It's day nine. 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 Of the 12 days of Christmas ornament painting. Ornament, Christmas ornament painting. I think that's what I keep calling it. So it is day nine and we're gonna be painting a Santa gnome. He's got little boots on, little red mittens. I can't paint Santa to save my soul. I cannot, I don't, it just doesn't work. So this was the next best thing. <laughs> when you're painting ornaments, you gotta cheat however you can. Whatever works to get them done and done quickly, you gotta do it. Hey Bobby, I bet that's you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I gotta refresh my screen. So Bobby sent 100 stars. Thank you, Bobby. And uh, um, so when you send stars, when you send 100 stars, uh, it will enter you into a drawing to win all 12 ornaments. Where did I pick one? I put them back, of course. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight days done. These eight ornaments are all ready to go. See, I found my cardinal. I can't help it. I lose things. Um, I'm trying to get the comments up here. Um, you're excited for this ornament. Excellent, Kathy. Excellent, excellent. Um, I'm glad that you're excited for this one because he's kind of just a, I can't paint a Santa, so we're gonna paint a Santa gnome. Same thing, right? He looks like Santa. All right. Um, let's see if I can get comments. There we go, Lisa Stevens, thank you. All right. Hey, Lisa. So we have the angel, the holly. He does look like Santa. He does, Stephanie. The poinsettia, snowman, the mushroom, the cardinal. He's my favorite, I think. Hey, Diane, thank you for those stars. The church, oh, I don't know. Might be a good second. And uh, the ornament, and I think I'm gonna put the pink ornament in that giveaway because I really like the painterly pink ornament. But we did paint red ones too. So, this is the pink painterly one, and then this is the red marquee one, but I really like that pink painterly one, so we're gonna include that one in the 12 ornaments. But we have eight done. We're gonna do day nine. And then I have one more done, and I still need to do two. So if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to paint on the last two days, let me know. I had a sneezing fit before I went live, so. Excuse my itchy nose. So the last one that I have done surprised the heck out of me. Like, I can't even, I can't even, a candle? No, oh, good idea, Bobby. I'm gonna write these down, because I seriously need your help. Seriously. There's a pen. 
I need your help to tell me what to do on the last two days. So, uh, so far I have a candle. But the one that I do have done, this is, I'm so excited about this one. I can't wait to tell you. Just talk down. Did you already do a simple nativity? No. That's a good idea. I had one of those pinned. Um, gingerbread man. Excellent. Hi, Deb. All right. So nobody guessed this so far. So look at him. Look at him. Isn't he just the cutest dang thing? A toy soldier. But I have trouble with a mustache. I think that's why I can't paint Santa is because I have trouble with this mushroom, mushroom, mustache, getting them to be the same. So I simpled it down a little bit. And there's my, there's my other mustache. Was struggling with my mustaches, but he's still cute. And then here's another one. So my little toy soldier. This was my original one, but he took me a long time, so I had to simplify him down a little bit. So yeah, that's day 10. And I need two more. Thanks, Bobby. He is cute. But tonight we're gonna do a gnome, a Santa gnome. So I'm gonna flip you down and we're gonna draw it on paper first. If you have any ideas throughout this, I like Heather in a soldier's hat. Oh, a feather in a soldier's hat. Oh, that's a good idea to stick a feather in there. If I stick a feather in there, maybe I can cover up that mustache. <laughs> Can't paint a mustache to make them look the same on both sides. Can't do it. All right, I'm gonna flip you down. I rigged up my tripod. I put some zip ties on it to stop it from falling downward. Hopefully it worked. Okay. Here's my little Nomer guy. Make sure I'm in the screen there a little bit. This one's pretty easy. So the first thing that I start out with which is crazy to do, but I start out with the nose. I always start out with whatever's kind of like center for the most important part of the ornament. So in this case, it's the nose. So I make that circle and I don't finish the top of it. Then I swoop this hat, the the feathery part of his hat, the white part of his hat, and I swoop it down here like this. See, now I can make a mustache like that. Maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta concentrate like this. So that's a pretty good mustache. Um, and then you come back up, and this can be however wavy you want, whatever you want. And then, we're gonna make the top part. There's a wrinkle right there. There's the top part of the hat. The other side of that hat. And then up and down around. and his little tassel down there. It came too far. I shouldn't have came down that far. We'll try and fix that on the, on the actual ornament. So then uh, this beard, you're just gonna make 
You can make just like an oval down here and finish his beard off, but I because I'm doing it in marker, we can kind of lightly do it. So when you're painting, you can paint like that, okay? But he's, his, his beard is pretty scraggly. So you're gonna paint a little bit like that. And make sure that he's, he's kind of fluffy. And then his feet, You come in with two like petal shapes, flat, flat, and a half circle. And then his mittens. He's got his mittens kind of on, his hands kind of on the ground. So you're just making a mitten type shape. Right there. So he's leaning backwards. That's it. There's your Santa gnome. His feet are a little small. So there, his feet are a little bit bigger. This one's still kind of skinny. There. So that's it. He's that easy. Now we're gonna paint him. You can screenshot him if you'd like here. I'll put that back on there so you can screenshot him. For anybody who wants to screenshot this so they know what they're painting. See, this hand doesn't even have a good shape to it, but after we get it painted, like this one doesn't either. There's not even a thumb on there. So you know what it is. It's just your eye knows what it is. Ornaments are supposed to be quick and easy. All right, let's paint. I have four ornaments painted in cake batter. I need marquee, marquee red. Actually quite a bit of marquee this time. And then We need vintage linen, because that's the white I have right now. These are the main colors, is the white and red. So you're gonna need quite a, quite a little bit of them. And then you need some type of gray. You can use um, either a pre-mixed gray or pre-colored pre gray, like I'm gonna use skeleton key. Or you can take little black dress and put a little bit of white swan or a lot of white swan, a little bit of black and quite a bit of white to make a gray. We're just gonna use skeleton key because I like skeleton key. All right, that's where we're gonna start. So the first thing we're gonna start with is his nose. I gotta rinse my brush here. Looks like I was lazy last night and didn't finish cleaning my brushes. Thank goodness I'm using DIY paint because it just cleaned it right up. Soft brush again. Hey Laura, thank you for all those stars. All right, a nose. So that top part, you can leave a little flat if you want. You don't have to worry about making sure that that's nice and round. 
but I make sure the rest of his nose is round. And again, giving your brush a little bit of a headache so that it pushes down and makes a nice straight line. Then you want a little bit of highlighting on there. So we're gonna come in with white and we're gonna highlight that nose on one side. Hi, Sheila. That's it. Two more noses, you can leave that top. Whoop, his nose is, he's got a little big nose. Um, you can leave that top flat if you want. And then I wipe off what marquee is on my brush. I dip very slightly into the white and I hit it on the side. Right like that. Now we're gonna wash the brush because I wanna make sure the red is out of it. I'm gonna dry it off. And then we're gonna go in, make sure all that red is out of there. And we're gonna go in with pure vintage linen. And we're gonna make this fur come right over his nose. So it's kind of like an eye with an eyebrow. And then you can go ahead and make the rest of the furry part here. It can look any way, shape, or form that you want it to. And I'm leaving it nice and white. I like the white fur trim. So again, this kind of hoops up and comes down over his nose. So like an eyebrow. And then fill in the sides and the top. Kind of a goofy way to describe that, huh? To make an eyebrow. I just see shapes. All right, you always wanna make sure that your hanger's on the top because you don't want your gnome little guy to be hanging sideways on the Christmas tree. Okay, eyebrow. That fur is flipped up over his nose and then we're gonna finish those sides. What color is the background? The background is cake batter with a little crinoline mixed. So you can use just plain um, crinoline if you want or plain cake batter or cake batter mixed with a little white. Or you can put a little um, queen bee in with some white and make a just a pale yellow. You want the background to be, it can be any shade, but you want it to be a sh just a darker than the white. Because you want that white to be able to show up on there. Okay, we got all of our eyebrows done. <laughs> now we're gonna go in 
with skeleton key. And I'm gonna mix some vintage linen in with it right away to make it not quite so dark. I don't need his beard to be real gray, just a little on the gray side. So remember we went in a just an oval shape like this. You don't have to get straight up against his nose. There's quite a bit of a gap. I'm gonna now make it furry. Um, there's a bit of a gap because we're gonna go and outline this one. So we don't have to be perfect underneath that nose. If you weren't gonna outline it, then yes, you'd want to make sure that you got tight up against that nose. But you can see that I'm not tight up against this red even underneath. There's a little bit of a gap right there. While this is still wet, I'm gonna go in with plain white. And give this beard some nice highlighting. Cause I don't want his beard to be solid gray. I just want something in the background, some type of a gray base in the background. So I'm gonna let that dry up a little bit and we're gonna go on to the next one and then we're gonna come back with some more white. So you're gonna butt up against that hat and that nose. You don't have to get real close. If you do get close, it's okay. And make that Make that pointed shape of his beard. And then give it some fluff. Remember, these are quick, so don't take too much time on your fluff. Wipe your brush off. Straight white while that paint is still wet. And add that highlight in on that beard. We're gonna add a little bit more white to this one. There. We'll move on to these. I'm gonna add some more white to my skeleton key. Skeleton key is such a fun color. I never used it until Dion Woods sent me some free paint one time because I won something. I don't remember how I won it. I painted something and I won. And she was sending DIY paint to whoever the winner was. Well, I won it and I loved it. I'm like, why didn't I ever think to use skeleton key? And then when she sent it to me, I thought, oh, she's just giving me a color that she can't sell. <laughs> nope, that wasn't the case. Wiping my brush off so I can go into plain white and add some highlight to him. You're not going to cover up all of that skeleton key. 
just some of it. Give him a nice fluffy beard. This one might be a touch more dry, so we're adding a little bit more white. As long as there's white on my brush. I didn't give these little guys mustaches because I'm not very good at them. But some gnomes have mustaches. Mine does not. He is mustacheless. His beard is too fluffy. It blends right in. All right. A little white. And I'm making sure I have a lot of texture in my beard by just scrubbing that brush back and forward. Even when I go the third time with the white, I'm making sure that I'm putting a lot of strokes. My hand is just moving every which way, giving him, I'll show you in a minute, giving him so much texture in his beard. Where am I? Here we go. So look at all that texture in that beard. And uh, this one a little bit. Alrighty, now we need red again. And I need to wash my brush because I don't want any white in my in my hat, not right now. We're gonna flip, go back to our marquee. So you don't wanna go over your hat, you wanna just go and make that first layer on the inside of that fluffiness. So you're gonna make one layer. And then you can make a second layer if you want. We're stepping it back. And then we're gonna make the third layer. Except the third layer is going to come down here. And then we're gonna take some white and blend it in to make a highlight on this side of his hat. And then just a little bit right here. That simple. You're frozen for me. Oh, I hope not, Sheila. I'm still working for myself, so I take it it might be you, Sheila. Hopefully it's you, because I'm not frozen for myself. Mine is actually working pretty good. All right, first layer. All you do is take your filbert brush and go on the 
inside of the furry part and make one solid stripe. I have to turn my brush around, or my ornament around because my it's a filbert brush and so my other end I want round. And it doesn't get round unless I go on the other side of my brush. Okay, I got that one layer of my hat. I went out and came back in, now it's good. Okay, hey Judy. And then you're gonna do the second layer. So start in a little bit from where you were the first time. Turn my ornament around because I want that roundedness and blend it in. Then you're gonna do the third layer. Except third layer is coming out here. And I like to give him a little bit of a peek on that third layer. A little topping on that cake. And pull it down. Just like that, wiping my brush. Wiping my brush off, coming back in with just a little bit of white and brushing on one side of his hat for a little bit of highlight and then highlight over here. That's it. Now I froze. Let's see if I can find myself again. Hopefully I'm still working for everybody else. We're gonna go without that for a bit. Okay, we're gonna continue on because it looks like I'm still live for people. It looks like I'm, I haven't froze. I must've just froze for myself. We're gonna go back in with the red and do that same thing. One cake layer. Spin it. Load your brush up again. Lay the brush down and it makes a perfect rounded edge. Load your brush up, make a second layer, blend it into the first. You don't want those ridges in his hat like that. But that's the easiest way to give the hat some dimension. And then third layer, and then peek it up. And bring it down. Right like that. Then I'm going to wipe my brush, bring in a little of the white swan. Make a highlight on that side. And a little bit over here, right like that. Let me see if I can find myself again. I disappeared. Hopefully I didn't disappear for everyone else. But I disappeared. But I see Bobby said hi to Judy, so we're all good. All right, one more.
This one, his hat is tipped over a little bit, so we're gonna follow that same tippiness. Just follow whatever your first one is. Making the second layer, but blending it in. I went over to make sure that's square on that side. I only wanted layers on one side for this one. And then making that third layer, blending it in, but making the peak. And then bringing it down. Wipe the brush, a little white. All right, we can make his little mittens as long as we're into the red. So down here, you're just gonna make an oval and a thumb type look. They're not even really that detailed. Just two mitten-like shapes. So I hoop it up on the top and then just Make like that thumb-like look and make it round on that side. This one, it's running off that side of the paper or that ornament. Looks good. Using my filbert brush again on the side to make that rounded shape. Just like that, one more. There's his little hands, nothing fancy, just little hands. Now we need back to that white. We're almost done, almost done guys, almost done. We need just a little bit of white to finish out this tassel. Making just a nice little puff ball there. And if you want a little bit more white in his beard, you can do that now when you have nice clean white paint and everything else is dried. I kind of add it to one side, like the highlighted side, so that it gives him a little bit of shape. Just like that. All right, weathered wood for his boots. I reactivated my weathered wood. I got paint again. Told you I wasn't ready to give up on it. Okay, these two are dry. So it's a boot and a boot. So using my rounded filbert brush and just making two little marks like that. And then I come in 
Well, actually, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make them longer. I think this is what I did. I'm positive this is what I did. So, I just made two oval shapes. And we worry about the heel later. Now a little bit of white and we're going to make that heel, we're going to make it flat and make that heel shape. And a little highlight on the top. So does he look like he got shoes on? So you're gonna make it flat and bring your brush down. Flat and bring it down. And then just two little brush strokes up there. This'll come together as soon as we Go in with the black, with the detailing. And we need just a little bit more of a highlight on his nose. His nose is way too, way too pale. So the first one that we did, the paint was wet, so we got a little pink. Now we're going in with some pure white, same with the hat. Some nice white highlights. We're even gonna highlight his mitten. to the outline, which y'all know we use little black dress with some water. We're gonna mist it with a little water. I apologize for not being seeing comments, but I can't, my connection, I've lost it. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of water onto my palette here, just to water down my little black dress a tiny bit. And then the nose is the first thing that I outline. And I outline just that bottom half like that. And then, we come around, Remember, this is a little on the furry side. Same with his beard. So I just went and did a bunch of little hashes. I go right over top of his mitten. His mitten is behind his beard. And then this is where you can pull out that mitten look. And 
and his boots. You're going to put the straight line across there and then to make that heel. Straight line, make a heel, and make the toe. And then for this part of the hat, you're going to follow those layers that we put in, and then this is the crease. And his little puffy ball on the end of his hat. Isn't he cute? He's so adorable. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. I start with the nose and I go around that bottom half of the nose. I need a, a touch more water. If your paint isn't flowing very well, you wanna make sure that it has enough water. That might be the issue. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna make this a little bit smooth. So I'm gonna go smooth right here. And then kind of um, make it a little bit more feathery, a little bit more fluffy in those areas but it's nice and smooth under his nose. His beard goes in front of his mitten. You wanna make sure you make that straight line to make his heel. And then it's like a, a C, it's like a cup, and then make it a nice big line up there. his hat these are the good things about Connie lines is you don't have to be perfect you want to make it look like it's kind of stacked up on his head there like that like it's a bit of a mess those gnomes are quite sloppy and my initial. Two more. This is your favorite, Kathy? Excellent. <clears throat> He's pretty easy to do, too. If you just follow the shapes. So I'm going to go in and make this a bit on the smooth side. And then come in and make some fluffy hat. You wanna make sure you go in front of that mitten to make it look like his hands are behind him. If you don't do that, it's gonna look like his hands are in front of his beard and that's gonna look goofy. Oh, these mittens didn't get a highlight. Oh well. If you find your paint is skipping, like it's skipping right there, you need more water. You want it to flow when you run your brush on it. You want it to come right off your paintbrush. Oh, it's 
we forgot his boots. I can't see that comment. No one can do Kanye lines like you. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Um, at straight line. Straight line, make a C and make a hoop. One more, then we're gonna splatter and he's done. A smooth line for his nose. You've never seen a fluffy nose, did you? And then a smooth line to come over his nose. That first one I didn't do a smooth line and I didn't like it. My Kami lines take not a whole lot of effort. It takes me a lot more effort to do straight lines than it does Kami lines. See how that's his heel. And then you're gonna make the rest of the boot. Again, these are quick ornaments. You don't wanna spend a whole lot of time on them unless you're only doing one or two, then you can. Okay, they're all finished. Now we're gonna splatter it a little bit. I am splattering with black tonight. Crazy, I know. But I'm gonna use black. So we're gonna do two at a time. And I wanna make sure that I have my black watered down quite a bit. And then splatter it on there. Not too crazy with the black. If you get some on his beard and you don't like it, you can always wait for it to dry and then paint over the top of it. I don't mind them two at all. I'm gonna back them up so I don't get them again. There we go. Okay, so this one, I don't like where a black spot landed right on his nose, so I'm gonna try and pull it off. And uh, I don't like this one, so I'm gonna try and pull it off. There. You can do that too, if you didn't like where it landed. And then just pull it off a little bit, wipe it with a little baby wipe. And if you have to, then you can go over the top of it. If you took too much paint off, you can go over the top of it and you won't have that dot look underneath there. It'd be nice and smooth. Okay, I'm gonna pick you back up. Hopefully I didn't lose you there. I turned my phone off. Oh, don't want that. Want this. 
Thank you. Thank you. They are really cute. So here is the gnome guy. That was our ornament for tonight. These are your favorite, Laura. So these will be part of the 12 ornaments that I send. If you send 100 stars, you are signed up to win all 12 ornaments. These will be included. Make sure you watch and um, I'm putting them on YouTube also. YouTube does not have the ability to send stars which is okay. If you just watch my YouTube channel, that helps my algorithms, it helps everything else. And so I really do appreciate all of the watches on YouTube as well. So if you want to watch the replay on here, you can go to YouTube because it's easier to find a replay on YouTube than it is to find it on Facebook. It won't get there until probably this weekend that I'll have a chance to download it from Facebook, upload it to YouTube, and get it all scheduled to post. So it'll be on there this weekend, but this guy is a little cutie pie. Okay, that's it. That might have been my fastest ornament. Um, a wreath. Okay, so, so far, in case I missed some. I have a candle, a simple nativity set, or a nativity, I should say, gingerbread man, and a wreath. I only have two that I haven't done, so the next time you see me, we're going to be painting this little guy. So that is, you're welcome, you're welcome, Danelle. Um, this little guy is a little toy soldier. He's a little on the hard side. Lisa, we already did an angel. Um, so he's a little on the more difficult side, but he's still, all he is is shapes. He's just shapes, so don't worry too much. The little toy soldier. So if you have any more ideas, please drop them in the, in the comments below. I'll make sure that I take all of your suggestions to heart and find two more ornaments that we can do. So thanks for watching and I will see you next Wednesday on day 10. Day 10, we're almost there. I'm trying to figure out how I can fit all three days into that week, so. Maybe a Saturday video. All of our weekends are booked right now, but I don't know what's on, on that Saturday. So we'll, we'll try and stick one in there before, um, I think it's a Christmas program, which is at my Christmas program, Wilson. Okay, so I should be able to stick day 12 in a reindeer. Oh, fabulous. Um, on that Saturday and get all 12 done so that we can draw and draw a name and I can get those sent out to you in plenty of time for Christmas. Thank you so much. Thanks, Judy. And I will see you on Wednesday. Until next time, happy painting.